Welcome to the Unit 6.6 .6 Synopsis video. This video gives a big picture look at this unit, introducing the unit challenge scenario, the flow of lessons, PEs, and the content background required. If you have access to the unit materials, you may find it helpful to use the unit overview along with this video. This unit is designed for the sixth grade and is the sixth unit for the school year. Unit 6.6 .6 is comprised of nine lessons, including the lesson opener and unit closer, requiring a minimum of 21 50-minute class periods. The semester unifying cross-cutting concepts are patterns and cause and effect. The full title of Unit 6.6 .6 is The Tangled Web We Weave, Interactions Within Ecosystems. In this unit, students confront the problem of invasive species by learning about various Michigan ecosystems, making predictions about how an invasive species may affect organisms and ecosystems within Michigan, and identifying appropriate management strategies for the invasive species. The unit challenge questions are, what can cause the number of organisms in an ecosystem to increase, decrease, or disappear over time? And, how and why do ecosystems change, and why is it important to us? Let's take a closer look at the unit challenge. As presented to the students in the unit challenge scenario, students are working to advise their local state legislator about why populations of some native species are decreasing, while others stay the same and some even increase in various Michigan ecosystems. Student teams are assigned to one of six Michigan ecosystems. Within each team, individual students first create models to describe how a single species population is affected by interactions within the group's ecosystem. Once the individual species models have been completed, teams use these models to predict how the ecosystem may change due to changes in the abiotic and biotic parts of the ecosystem. Student groups work to recommend a management strategy for the introduction of an invasive species, which is a particular type of biotic change. Student teams use a decision matrix to identify the best management strategy for the invasive species in their ecosystem. Finally, teams create presentations which outline how the invasive species may change their ecosystem and provide a recommended management strategy. The goal of this presentation is to provide information to fellow classmates so the class can recommend a single ecosystem they think should be managed to the state legislator. This unit is built around the concept of ecological interactions or how organisms interact with other organisms and the environment. Teachers should understand the interactions of resource availability, competition, predation, and mutualism and how they affect both individuals and populations. You should also be aware of how seemingly small changes to the biotic or abiotic parts of the ecosystem may alter these interactions. These changes can ripple through the entire ecosystem, changing the ecosystem in dramatic ways. If you're not confident about your knowledge on these topics, review the teacher background content resources, which are linked in the unit overview, as well as in the lesson plans. We're now going to focus our attention on brief summaries of the lessons that compose Unit 6.6. .6. In common with all MyStar units, the first lesson serves to engage students in our topic, interactions within ecosystems. After uncovering students' thoughts and ideas about ecosystems, students are introduced to the unit challenge question and unit challenge. Through the creation of a class unit bubble map, students have the opportunity to think about what they need to learn in order to answer and address the question and challenge. The unit bubble map will be revisited and updated during the unit, reflecting the greater understanding students achieve as they progress through each lesson. For Lesson 2, students explore how limited resource availability influences individuals and the growth of populations through a class activity using a limited resource, packing peanuts or mini marshmallows. Students are also assigned to their unit challenge ecosystem teams. Each student chooses an organism from their team's ecosystem and is provided the appropriate fact sheet. Please note that Lesson 2 has a list of organisms that must be included. This is important if your group sizes are small. You'll find the list in the lesson plan. For Lessons 3 through 7, students use a variety of resources and data in their investigations, such as fact sheets, graphs, 
class or small group population simulation models, and guiding questions. Short videos are occasionally used to introduce topics or provide additional information. Using what they learn, students will add to their unit challenge organism models. In Lesson 3, students model competition between organisms and identify how competition can influence individual survival and the number of organisms in a population. During Lesson 4, students explore data on predator-prey interactions and how the individual populations affect one another. For Lesson 5, students examine examples of mutualism in nature and look at what can occur when two populations are interdependent as a result of their mutualism. This is an example of a student's organism model, which is developed in Lessons 2 through 5. It identifies what an organism needs to survive and its relationship with other species. The species in this model is eastern hemlock. Here is the key for the relationships, which lists mutualism, resources needed, predation, competitors, and model rules. The model rules identify population relationships in the ecosystem, such as an increase in predators resulting in a decrease of hemlock. In Lesson 6, students model how environmental factors can impact populations of organisms. These changes can be natural or the result of human activity. Using simulated data, students create a graph to compare the effects of snow on deer population. During Lesson 7, students examine the effects that invasive species introduction can have on ecosystems and their native species. One of the invasive species they investigate is purple loosestrife, a wetlands plant. For Lesson 8, students practice using a decision matrix to select a snack, then transfer this knowledge to compare management strategies for combating purple loosestrife. Students take on a community role, such as township trustee or preserve manager. The role that students play in the community determines which criteria are most important to them as they complete the decision matrix to decide which solution is best for addressing the purple loosestrife. They also use a decision matrix at the end of the lesson in their unit challenge teams to compare management strategies for the invasive species in their ecosystem. In the unit closer, the student groups synthesize their learning from the entire unit and present their findings for their particular ecosystem, including a proposed management solution for the invasive species. While groups are presenting, students individually use a decision matrix to evaluate the presentations. Following the presentations and through a class discussion, the students come to consensus on which ecosystem invasive species warrants management. Finally, the class revisits the unit bubble map and students reflect on changes in their understanding, which completes the unit.